everybody. This video is about reflections using uh, matrices. So in this problem, we're reflecting all of the points represented by this matrix across the x-axis. Now, first to explain, what do I mean when I say uh, all of the points represented by this matrix? Well, you have to realize, or you have to know, when, you're, when you have a matrix and you're interpreting it geometrically, every column represents a point. So this column, negative three comma one, represents the point, negative three comma one. In the same way, we have the point uh, negative two, three, negative one, three, and zero, one. So we have a shape uh, with four points. I guess this would be a quadrilateral. Now, what does it mean to reflect across the x-axis? Well, that's the easy part. If you look uh, over here, if you take the point A, which is at x, y, and you reflect that over the x-axis, well, uh, the x-coordinate stays the same, but you're on the other side of the x-axis, so the y-coordinate is the opposite. So to answer this question, it's actually really simple to do, um, if that was our goal. It's not. Uh, but if we just wanted to answer this question, you could simply say, well, let's keep all of the x values the same, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, and uh, let's multiply all of the y-coordinates by negative 1. So that would be negative 1, negative 3, negative 3, negative 1. However, in honors geometry, um, that's not really our goal, just to tr uh, reflect points across the x-axis. We want to see how matrices uh, can actually perform this operation through matrix multiplication. So uh, let's just consider this first point, negative 3, 1. What we can do is uh, construct a 2 by 2 matrix. So there's going to be four blanks to fill in. And if we multiply by the column matrix that represents the point, negative 3, 1, we would like to be able to uh, perform this reflection. So we want to keep the x value the same, and uh, we want to multiply the y value by negative 1. So this is a pretty good exercise to do. Remember, the main goal of a matrix, when you're interpreting it geometrically, so this is a two by two matrix. The main goal of a matrix, uh, you have to read this right to left, is to convert a two dimensional point into another two dimensional point. So what that means is, let's say you had a five by you know, three matrix or something like that. Um, the job of a five by three matrix would be to convert a three dimensional point into a five dimensional point. Now, we're not gonna do anything like this, of course. Uh, we're gonna stick to uh, two, two, two and three dimensions for the most part, um, but it is helpful to know. That's what a two by two matrix is. It represents a way to turn, in this case, a two dimensional point into another two dimensional point. So if you know how to do matrix multiplication, this is a good exercise. Pause the video and see if you can come up with uh, the four numbers that you would need for this two by two matrix to convert the point negative three comma one into the point negative three uh, negative one. So pause it, see if you can do that. Now, I'm gonna move on with the video, of course. As it turns out, and if you know how to, make, how to do matrix multiplication, you'll be able to see this. The matrix that does the trick is one, zero, zero, negative one. So if you simply multiply first row by this column, one times negative three plus a zero times one, that is negative three. And then second row times the column, zero times negative three plus negative one times one is negative one. So this matrix, uh, this matrix that we constructed does the trick of reflecting across an x-axis. So even though um, you don't actually have to do it this way, it is useful to know if you multiply this matrix, one, zero, zero, negative one, times all of these points, negative three, one, negative two, three, negative one, three, zero, one, 
If you do that multiplication, you will get what we've known since basically the beginning of the problem. You will get uh, this as your answer. You will reflect all of these points uh, across the x-axis. Now for the transformations that we're going to do next, I'm not going to go into such an in-depth explanation, um, but what you do need to be thinking in our next examples is, once again, a two by two matrix turns a two dimensional point into a two dimensional point, and uh, we have this, this kind of geometric interpretation, these very specific transformations that we'd like to talk about. Okay, let's do another one then. So. Here, we're reflecting across the y-axis, and it's always helpful to draw a little picture of it. I pretend I could draw straight. If we take a point, call it A, which is the point x, y, if you reflect to the other side of the y-axis this time, you want to turn that into point A prime. So here, the x-coordinate is the opposite, and the y-coordinate stays the same. Now, once again, you could just write down the answer to this question. Okay, we have the point negative three, negative one. So we want to keep the neg uh, sorry, we want to change the negative three to positive three, but keep the negative one the same, because that's what you're doing over here. You make the x-coordinate, uh, you take the opposite of that, and you keep the y-coordinate the same. So you already know what the answer is. It's uh, positive three, negative one is the first point. Uh, positive three, positive three is the second point. Uh, 0, 2, well that stays at 0, 2 because 0 times negative 1 is still 0. And then we have the negative 1, positive 1. So you know what the answer is, but the point here is what matrix would do this for you? So we want to take uh, a 2 by 2 matrix and we'd like to multiply that by uh, the four points that uh, the four points that make up the matrix we started with and we want to do a y-axis uh, reflection. So we want to get positive 3, negative 1, positive 3, positive 3, 0, 2, negative 1, 1. Again, pause the video. This is a good exercise. See if you could come up with uh, the four points that will make this matrix equation true. I'll assume you've paused and you figured it out. If not, it's negative 1, 0, 0, 1. That'll do the trick. So um, rather than just writing down the answer like I did, it's a good exercise to actually do this matrix multiplication and see that uh, you do get this as your answer. All right, we have two more problems to do. All right, so this time we're reflecting across the line y equals x. So you'll remember from your Algebra 1 class that the line y equals x is, well, it's a line. It has y-intercept 0. It has slope 1. So it looks, uh, it looks something like that. That's y equals x. Now, without making this video longer than it has to be, if you take the point, let me, switch, uh, let me switch colors real quick. If you take a point, let's call it A, which is the point X, Y, maybe that's right here. If you fold across the green line, what will happen when you get to A prime is X and Y switch places. And once again, for an honors geometry class, what you would like to be able to do is accomplish this with a matrix transformation. So what two by two matrix will take the point negative five, one, and swap X and Y. Negative four, four, we wanna swap X and Y. Negative two, two, we'd like to swap X and Y. So when we get done with this, we would like this matrix equation to read 1, negative 5, 4, negative 4, 2, negative 2. Again, a good exercise. Pause the video and see if you can come up with this. Um, I'll assume you've done that. 
this matrix will do the trick. So if you verify this via matrix multiplication, so for example, this first point, that's the first row, first column, we have zero times negative five plus one times one, which does give you one. You can verify all of the others. So this is the reflection matrix for reflecting across the line y equals x. Okay, we have one more to do. We're reflecting across the line y equals negative x this time. Um, so the graph of y equals negative x looks like that. And what you're doing when you reflect across uh, y equals negative x, so let's say you have a point uh, right here, and we'll call that point A. If you reflect across the line y equals negative x to A prime, you're going to do two things. You're going to uh, swap the x and y, but you're going to change the sign of both of them. And I know this video has gone on long enough. I bet you can guess what the next step is. What two-dimensional matrix will do the job? Well, I'm just going to write it down. You can verify that for yourself. But if you take this matrix, and if you multiply, I'm just going to write the first point down. I'm sure you're tired of this video already. Uh, if you do this matrix multiplication, you'll do two things. You'll swap x and y, so it'd be negative one, uh, negative one, negative three, and you'll change the sign of both of them. So since these were both negative, they'll change to positive. Anyway, that's how you perform uh, basic reflections with matrices. And the real problem is you're going to have uh, two options here. You're either going to have to memorize the uh, four matrices that uh, we developed here, or uh, I really would not want to memorize all four of them. Uh, rather, whenever I was saying pause the video, um, imagine the matrix multiplication and see if you can come up with, the, with these matrices, it's much easier to be able to do that on the fly uh, rather than trying to memorize all four matrices. Anyway, uh, that is how you deal with reflections using matrices. Hope the video helped.